Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today we are in the creepy basement it's been a while um, I have an interesting project here and it's a bicycle battery from an electric bike and well at work I have a have an intern and his mom has a bicycle and after winter it did not work anymore it did not it didn't want to charge and well a new battery I think it was 4,000 Danish crowners and and to try and get it repaired was like 2,500 Danish crowners so I promised to have a look at it so uh, I thought we should do that have a look at it see if we can figure out what the heck is going on it's probably unbalancing cells or something like that so um, yeah it's here let's um, check the table so here it is I haven't even put it taken it out of the back so here is the battery and there is also a charger there so we might just start by checking that it doesn't charge I haven't got a clue how this works so okay there is some indication up here and the charging port where would they put it that looks like it right there that could be a charging yeah, it looks about right that would fit right there okay so let's what if we press the button will it show us that there is anything totally dead nothing so let's um, power this okay the charger is powered charge power so. okay if it just works now it's gonna be a really short video maybe not that interesting either empty it says okay it didn't do that for long did you see that I think you saw that let's just try that again empty or oh, error of error probably error okay so we have a baseline for starting it's not working so let's disconnect that I have uh, managed to check that there was actually some screws on the back here so uh, let's see don't we have anything underneath these labels I can see where the well, the bicycle is bought. It's a Beel team. Eh? We have had uh, cables from there. So, let's see, screwdriver. Will that do the. Uh, we need. We need its bigger brother. There. I have never taken a bicycle battery apart before, but. So, this is gonna be interesting. I see there is a pinout of the charging cable, so plus is inside and minus is the coat here. This looks very much like a, um, a television clock. That would probably end the life of that TV if you do something like that. There is also a fuse down here. We might just check that. And if we don't check it, we might just take it out so that. sure that I think it, it's kind of a car fuse you see it it's it's in there okay so let's just take that up oh that's not gonna go in there there. that is all good no issues there always uh, good to disconnect that so it's a 36 volt battery and it's 10 amp hours so it's something like 360 watt hours is that correct yeah there and uh, this goes into the bicycle on the back and this is the the rear the red light on the back of the bicycle so it's it's like where you sit if you're a passenger on a bike which is uh, illegal here but 
Well, that's where you do it anyway. It looks like this is gonna come off. Yeah. We have a connection here for the, for the fuse thing. I need to mess with this to take it apart. Just a second. Okay, I managed. So, this is what it looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That would make it a tenness. So it looks like each of these packs are like four cells. One, two, and then two on the bottom, three, four. So, um, and there is like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten of those. So 10S4P. And uh, my idea is that why this has failed is that one of these are out of balance and therefore um, it won't charge. That's, that's my theory and that's where we're gonna start. So uh, we're gonna... This has gotten dusty. This was very expensive. So I'm gonna... Change the battery on the multimeter. Hmm. So I'm able to measure the voltage of the cells here. The first one uh, closest to the negative is like 3.197. And the next one is 3.19. So that is barely out of balance. Next one is 3.2. And the last one in this roll, 3.18. So the long roll here seems good. So moving on to the next one, I'll um, I'll let you know what I find. Okay, so I did find a couple of cells here that are ever so slightly low. This one, uh, these four batteries here, are, oh that's not bad. It's 2.96. Let's, let's write that. 2.96. And the next one, that's the one that I found that was lowest. Here to there. That's 2.656. So 2.65. 2.65. That's the lowest one that I found. So from, from about 3.2 to about 2.65. So there is a difference of about 600 millivolts. So I think we'll try and charge this up a little bit and see if we, uh, if we, if we put some power onto that, if, uh, if we can get this to charge on its own. It has a nice BMS. I'm sure that it, it handles everything just great if it will just charge it up. I'm sure the BMS will work but it has gotten so far out of balance, which isn't a lot in this case, that uh, the BMS says, no, I am not gonna do that. Uh, I don't wanna charge it up further than the other ones. It could, I could just, it would be a mess if I charged this up to four walls and then it wouldn't work before I charged every other cell up. So I'm gonna charge it up to about uh, those uh, 3.2 walls. We're gonna borrow the leads over here. Oh, don't short circuit. And then we're gonna turn the current, the voltage down to about where we need to be. That must be fine. Oh, e. there we are. And yeah, let's see if we can connect that. It flickers on the camera. It's great in real life. It's gonna be easy. There is a. They have mounted nice balancing leads on here, so I can just. I can just connect to those. This is plus of the battery and this is negative of the battery. So I should be able to connect the, I should check that. Negative, positive, 2.65, yes. We're good to go. We will connect that one, the negative here and the positive here. And we see that it's taking a charge over here. We're charging with about two amps. Oh, we could go up on that. 
no, no reason not to give it just max. There, that's no problem whatsoever. So, yeah, it shouldn't take too long to get that up in uh, in an area where I think the the battery would would be able to charge by itself. I'll give it 10 minutes. Okay, I'm a little bit impatient. I want to see if this works. Um, right now, it's 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 only ticking in about one watt, and that means that the batteries are charging with about 100 milliamps each, as there is four of them. Uh, so I think we'll try and disconnect this and try and put the charger on. So I'll just close this quickly. We'll put the fuse in. Yeah. There. And mm, it's sitting on the wire. Oh, and the LEDs are on the other side. That's not convenient. So, alright. There. So let's try and put this in. there not much happened still not happy with me mm. still just error eh? back to the charging okay so now I'm charging this cell that was at 2.79 volts and after that we have this one up here 2.86 volts and then we have 2.96 so uh, yeah we'll try and get those up to about 3.2 volts as well see if if that won't work for us so now i've moved to chat this uh, these four cells up uh, they were well 2.86 volts so we're going to try and get those up and we have some 2.92s here and I have some 2.96s over here. We might as well get those, uh, give them a little bit of a kick in the butt and see if that will help. Okay, I have been stopping when it's, um, it's uh, getting close to about one watt. I'm on the last block that wasn't on uh, just about, so we're gonna try again. Okay, so... And I have been measuring that they haven't lost too much voltage. It could be something like that if the batteries become uh, goes under three volts, three volts, that it's it, it's gonna go. Um, it, it's not gonna operate. So uh, that might be something that I. If it blows up, we want a good video. Still not. Eh, how rude. Okay, as as everything was balanced now, now I just connected to each end of the battery, and now I'm just bringing up the voltage here, and I'm gonna try and uh, charge it up around the BMS. Uh, just put some extra voltage on there so right now we are at 34 volts before i started this it was at 32 volts uh which uh, it's not that low so the battery is 36 volts it really sh yeah i don't know if it needs to go up that high to work I reduced it to two amps. Uh, that means that we are charging all the cells with 500 milli amps. Uh, the charger charges it with 1.8 amps, so it's it's close to what the, it would see from the charger. So yeah, it's not as easy as I would have thought. Right now we are putting 72 watts into it. Okay, it has been charging. It has come up about four and a half volts or something like that. So I think we'll try it again. See if this did anything good. So remove the power supply. There. 
and I just did uh, remove the charger so let's do this put the fuse back in I'm not sure if I need to remove this fuse every time I think it's just the output there oh and I have a little thinky so that I don't scratch it too much so oh it shows something else now so with a little luck nothing oh it actually shows something different now and we press it it shows that it's full hmm, which is probably not it's only at 36 volts hmm, so it might just be the battery indicator that shows me something weird it does claim to be charging over here but it have done that all the time Mm, yeah, I'm doubtful. Okay, so I had to cheat a little bit and go and <laughs> look this up on YouTube. And I found a Swedish guy that has made a video about this battery and he reset it and then it worked. Um, oh, that's a... Go away. Uh, what he did, he unplugged this plug here. Let's see. The balancing thing. Unplug that. There, it's unplugged. And then he dismounted this one. Moved it out of the way. And then he measured some voltage on the board. I'm not sure where he got that from. Let's see, voltage. There it is. Next to nothing there. There is some there, but it's going down very quickly. So nothing there, nothing there. Okay, interesting. I'll just short circuit those for a second. Okay, short circuit. Then let's try and connect that again. There, charger is in view. I saw that when he did it, it turned red when it's okay. And it charges. <sighs> Okay, so now I should be able to measure voltage coming in on the batteries. The minus down here, minus, and the positive, oh, and we can't see anything then. And we have 36.3738, so it's going up now. Awesome, we fixed it with a little help from our Swedish YouTuber, nice. So I probably didn't have to do any balancing to get this working. I just could have just reset it. Uh, that that kind of sucks. But I tried all that. Fuse one. Okay. I'm gonna let it charge for a while. Uh, it says on the back here that it should. Oh, it doesn't say. It says, it says on the back here that when you get the battery, important charge the battery in 14 hours before use, and uh, charge the battery every month. I think that's what has gone on that they missed that you need to keep these batteries charged 
if it uh, becomes too low. Apparently that circuit board resets or doesn't reset or craps up on you. On the other side, it uh, lights up E here, but it is charging and I did see some voltage on the batteries. So, uh, and it blinks. I think, I think we're good to go. I would hope that it would go on and, and keep going up. Uh, I don't know how high it has to go before it it goes if it goes up against full or something like that. Should we try and I'll try and disconnect it there? And it's not happy. And it charges again. So apparently it's very discharged. Let's let's charge it for a couple of hours and see what happens. It is the next morning and it has stopped charging now. Just gonna unplug it and plug it in again. And it's still not charging. So what does it say? Fully loaded. Interesting. So I guess it's working now. So ever so slightly more scruffy looking this morning um, to go help a friend with a shed. And um, I think I fixed this now. This is the battery from Biltema. Um, and it, it has a model number. It's right. It's right there. And I'll just read it out to you. It's 27-1402-100. And apparently that's how you fix those. If they die like this one did. Um, open it up. Disconnect those two cables. Wait a little bit. Like a minute or so. And then connect them again and your battery should be good to go. All the balancing thing that I did here, I'm not sure if that helped anything or if it did any changes. But that could help on other batteries, like if you have batteries for your Ryobi tools or other electric tools. These batteries, if they get out of balance, well, they will also not charge. Okay, this is a rare opportunity. We get to test the battery. There's a bicycle where it fits in. So let's see if we can figure this out. It looks very simple. There's connections there. Battery slides in there. Plug and play, I hope. Ah, okay. I think that's good. And it's still green. Okay, I've never tried an electric bicycle before, so I hope you just power it on. Skal man tænde? Er der kugle eller nøgle? Eller en slukknap? Tænd kontakt lige der måske. Har du prøvet at... Er du sikker på, at den er tændt for den? Skal du prøve at se, at den virker, inden du prøver? Oh, those bastards, they have hidden a on-off switch right there. Damn them. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if this works now. And now I should... Yeah. There you're power... you're sure it's on? There's power on the display now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It works. Not doing much. But there is air missing in the back tire. Not my problem. <laughs> hope you found that helpful and hope that you will now be able to save your very expensive bicycle battery. Electric bicycle battery that now blinks all green. So yeah, I think someone is going to be very happy. They just saved 2,500 Danish crowns, which is about $400. So it's, it's a good fix. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye-bye.